here we go. This is going to be 1040. You see lots of red here, so these storms could be loud and a few could be severe. This may not be Wordle, but your forecast search, we can see sunny, dry, and mild with plenty of sunshine. Those temperatures getting into those mid to upper 60s. Hello, I'm meteorologist Michaela Smith, and today I want to talk to you about the winter storm coming to Oklahoma. There's definitely been lots of colors as you've been walking to class, even just here in the Gaylord courtyard. This tree behind me was yellow at the start of this week. Lightning has decreased with the storm system now. It was a little bit more lightning heavy a couple hours ago. In my hand, I'm actually holding a weather radio. So while phones are a great way to get weather alerts, yes, normal flavored <laughs> jelly beans and a real life margarita. I think that's I where I'm standing that. on I'm that. that. <laughs> I agree with you on that. It is beautiful outside today. Temperatures are in the 50s, plenty of sunshine. Over the last couple of hours, just some scattered spotty showers. Those are clearing out now. That is a tornado watch that is currently in effect for these areas. And it is a PDS tornado watch. So it means it's a particularly dangerous situation. What do you think Punxsutawney Phil is going to see Wednesday? I think we're going to be talking winter. We're taking the polar plunge. And if you have any plans for this Valentine's Day on Monday, I hope you didn't forget. You're going to start off 41 in the morning. We're going to see if there's a very shallow layer of warm air, but cold air again at the surface sleet. And finally, if we just have a very large cold air mass, straight snow. That's obviously the ideal thing that we want to see is just to see some snow because ice can do quite a bit of damage, especially on power lines. We are under a severe thunderstorm watch in effect until 10 p.m. tonight. We do have our first severe thunderstorm warning of the day. It's about to impact Guthrie, so we are going to be keeping an eye on that and monitoring these storms as they move their way into the Oklahoma City Norman area. Well, we started off pretty chilly this morning. We can see those observed lows. 22 here in Sherman and Denison, but 13 in Ada and Sulphur, so definitely was very chilly this morning. I hope you had your jacket on throughout the day. We have started to warm up, though. We can see right now 41. Those winds are calm, so our feel like temperature is our temperature. Thank the Lord. If it was any windier, it could be just a bit colder. And this beautiful image with plenty of sunny skies is thanks to Hunter Super Tech. We can see those temperatures across the area as well, getting into those 40s finally, still holding on to a few 30s out there to the east. But overall, we are going to warm up throughout the day. Plenty of sunshine to keep us warmer. And we can see that 24 hour temperature change as well that we're getting into that warming trend. 11 already from where we were yesterday in Duncan. Now we're still just a bit cooler on this side, but it is coming. That sunshine is going to warm us up throughout the day today. We can see that almanac though. 65 was yesterday's high. Now that was at 3 a.m. Believe it or not. So that cold front made its way through yesterday morning and quickly dropped our temperature. I know you felt it. It was pretty chilly, but we can see we have a changing pattern. A great weekend ahead. Storm chances on Monday and Tuesday. Though we'll take a look at that here in just a second and possible wintry mix by the midweek. So we can see our forecasted temperature this afternoon. We are going to get into those 50s. So keeping a light jacket by might be handy as you go throughout the evening and then we're going to cool off again tomorrow morning. Going to see those 30s, 32 here in Sherman Dennis. And so right around freezing, but we do warm up quickly again tomorrow. We can see tomorrow afternoon getting into those 60s. So it's definitely entering that warming trend. We are welcoming this warmer weather after the cold air we saw the last few days. And then Sunday will dip down just a bit cooler in the morning as well. But then getting up into those upper 60s could even see some 70s, especially out there for our western counties. So definitely a great weekend in store for us this weekend. That wind chill tomorrow morning, though, is going to be a bit cold near those 30s. So have a jacket just in case if you have any plans early in the morning. Now that fishing game forecast looks absolutely amazing. Excellent even 340 is going to be your best time tomorrow. So good luck if you want to go out fishing and Lake Texoma. No major changes just dropped a little bit. So we're definitely needing some rain there. And luckily we are tracking some future rain. We can see that drought monitor though. It's gotten worse since last week. That extreme extends all the way across. So we saw just a little bit of rain from that last system, but we definitely need to see some more. So right now, very, very dry out here. You can see those winds from the north, but luckily we are talking about moisture returning. This is going to be Monday morning. We can see the winds have shifted out of the south and that moisture is going to be coming back from the Gulf. So definitely something that we're excited to see. So if we track this with our future track, we can see this is going to be Monday afternoon. You can see some scattered showers throughout the day on Monday, but then Monday night into Tuesday. This is we're chalking that chance for some, maybe some severe weather. Could see a few storms, maybe have that severe possibility. But then I want to go ahead and show you this. This is that wintry mix that we're talking about. This is Wednesday. So Wednesday afternoon, we can see sleet, ice, snow, anything right now. We really, it's just so far out. We'll have to nail that down as we get a bit closer. And then throughout the day, Thursday as well. This is Thursday afternoon. Luckily, that will clear out of the way by Thursday evening. And then Friday, we will start to warm back up just a little bit, but we can look 
plenty of sunshine for this weekend, and then we're going to be tracking those chances of some severe weather possibilities Monday and Tuesday, but we do want to see that rain. Wednesday and Thursday, again, we have some sleet, ice possibilities, but those temperatures, man, I mean, we're going to be in the 70s come Monday, so definitely looking forward to warming up throughout this weekend. Going to be cold by midweek next week, though. Could drop down into those 20s Thursday, and then Friday we will start to warm back up into next weekend, but got to get you through those next few days. Definitely a dynamic system, so keep up to date here at News 12.